Happy Sunday. It's church day. So here we are at the church. Unloading everything. What? That's a weed. Where oh, there's a snake. Oh. It's a bull snake. No, it's a bull snake. You need to step on back away. No, it's just a bull snake. I know, but it doesn't need to be sitting there. Can you move it? Well, that was a little exciting for them. <laughs> bull snake at the steps of the church, but uh, let him go. I'm not one to kill things unnecessarily. Um, I know there's some people that just love to watch stuff die. I'm not one of those people. So if it's a non-venomous snake and uh, isn't really bothering anybody, they're good. They take care of a lot of the mouse issues. And uh, from what I hear, I don't I haven't verified this, but they um, they tend to keep out the rattlesnakes, which if that's true, that's good. So here we are at church getting ready for the service today. So church is over and uh, we're back home. Time to run. Um, you know, I just have a lot of thoughts going through my head with, uh, with a lot of this. I'm reading the book that was suggested and it's really, really challenging me. Um, in some of my thinking, and uh, as I preach today, I was, uh, we're doing a series through Mark, and you know the theme of it is Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve. And as I was talking today about the great need that we have out there, and the requirement of Christians to do what we can to meet those needs, but not get distracted that the gospel is the most important need. Uh, people need Christ. That's, that's what they need. That is, the, that is the cure for everything that's going on is the gospel. Um, you know, look across the crowd and uh, most of the diversity of Jordan is represented in our church and sadly that's, uh, that's not a lot um, of diversity. And uh, I realize that uh, there's so much that I don't no, there's so much that I don't understand that uh, I would like to. And, um, you know, over the next couple of days, I'm just going to try and process some of that and talk about it and, uh, and look at some different things. But I think it's important to recognize that there's a lot that I don't understand. And my immediate defensiveness and response needs to take a back seat to listening for a little bit. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a back seat, I'm gonna sit down, and I'm not gonna put my agenda or what I think out front. I'm gonna stop and listen. I'm gonna stop and hear what my brothers and sisters have to say before I, I formulate a response. And um, you know, I think there's there's wisdom in recognizing that before we can have an intelligent conversation and discussion about a lot of this stuff, I need to fully understand where other people are coming from. Um, so, yeah, some random thoughts. You know, when I was thinking about a lot of that, one of the things that came to my mind is... Uh, a lot of people are up in arms about the riots and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't condone the violence and the riots, but I think I need to listen to the motivation. And uh, I was telling Sharon about this, but, you know, I had a, a pet one time that was injured. And when I tried to, to help him or move him or do some different things, he turned and snapped at me. And... Um, There'd be a lot of people who said, oh, if a dog snaps at me, he gets shot or, you know, I'm not going to put up with that. But then there's also a lot of people who understand that if a dog does that, that's because they're injured and you hurt them and they don't understand. And uh, 
when I was thinking about that, I said, why do we have more compassion for an animal than we do our brother and sister? Um, let's stop for a second uh, and stop stop looking at the riots and the, the violence that's coming from it and, and take the time to listen and see what the real problem is. I think maybe maybe we can learn something. I got my run done and it's a hot one today, 90 degrees. So Elijah's been asking for me to put his pool up. So that is the plan now. Got to figure out where I want to put it. I normally put it right here. And I think that's probably the same place we're going to go with it. So, we've had a pretty good Sunday. Are you kitty kitty? I hear you. Good time at church. Good run. Good afternoon in the pool, watching the kids play. Looks like the storms are going to be south of us. We're not going to get any today. It's supposed to be quite a bit cooler tomorrow, but we shall see. All right, see y'all tomorrow.